G'day, it's Terry from The Hut. I'm here with John Williams. John is one of six of RM's sons, and he's kindly allowed us to come and have a look in the shed, uh, the shed that actually RM built himself. Um, John, uh, you weren't living in Toowoomba at the time, so how did you end up here and amongst all well, of this? Well, yes, Terry. Um, yeah, I was in Cairns at the time, uh, working up there, and uh, came down here for Christmas to see Dad and uh, said I was going to buy a house in Cairns, and he said, oh, have a look at some here. Just as a... So he took me around, and I said, oh, yeah, they're very nice. The next thing, we inspect the place, and then the next morning I get up, and the bank manager's in the kitchen talking <laughs> to Dad, and the next thing we've got a mortgage, and we're going back to Cairns to pack up and come down here. And here you are. And here we are. Thanks to Dad. Yeah, thanks to Dad. <laughs> so you're in Toowoomba, you're in the shed, so what, uh, what was your, one of your first tasks? First thing he wanted to do was make bells, of course, you know, because he'd always wanted to... Do, um, do they? So um, that's the condomine bell. The condomine bell. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. So he just, um, I said, he said, can you start making a couple of bells? And I said, oh, I'll have a go at it. And he said, oh, I'll give you a pattern. And he had a condomine bell there, and he had a bit of canvas, and he just folded it over there, <laughs> cut it round with the scissors, and flipped it out. And he said, well, there's a pattern. Go and make it. Off you go. <laughs> so, <laughs> Came up here, got well, down in that little shed down there, making little, making the bells up and. Yeah. Anyway, that's how we got into the condomine bells. And, and uh, you went on to quart pots. Was it a similar thing, or um, did you end up with another pattern? It, well, it, it was almost like that. Um, uh, evidently, they were being made in uh, Melbourne with a canning company who decided they weren't going to make such small quantities anymore. They only wanted large quantities, so uh, um, they couldn't couldn't get them anymore. So the, the buyer from the factory rang Dad and said, "I've been trying all over Australia to try and find someone to make quart pots. I can't find anyone who make them for us. Do you know anyone in Queensland?" And Dad said, "Well, yeah, we'll make them." So <laughs> I go down for coffee. And he said, what do you know about making quart pots? I said, well, nothing. He said, well, you better learn quick because I've just taken an order for 100. <laughs> <laughs> and such an important part of um, your ringers and your drovers uh, it is. kit. Um, like spurs. Like spurs, yeah. true, that's true. Um, and um, he said, well, I'd like to make these spurs, you know, and he just sketched it up, the shape of the thing that he wanted. So um, I went from there and just started Cut them out and start making them from there. Yes, so got them, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and even gold ones. <laughs> yeah, and gold <laughs> ones. Gold too, ones. Yeah. Yeah. The special ones. So that, that's fantastic. Now, being in this shed, I look around and I see uh, you do have another string to your bow. Well, it's the bookbinding. It's the bookbinding this now. one, <laughs> yeah, Terry. Yeah. How did you get there? Well, from cord pots. Well, <laughs> Dad, Dad used to. He published the. Um, Hoofs and Horns originally yeah. back in 1944 huge, or 46, huge. and he had all the copies. He'd had them bound for years, but they were all falling apart after yeah, 50 years yeah. or so. Yeah. So he got a bookbinder in uh, Toowoomba here, uh, Richard Mann, to uh, bind a couple for him. And he bought them out and got them bound. Oh, great, got them rebound. And he said, oh, now I've got all these others. And he showed him the bookcase filled with them. And Richard uh, said, look, I've retired. He said. <laughs> Haven't you got anyone I can show how to book wine? And Dad said, oh, I have, as a matter of fact. And so when I went down for morning tea, he said, he said, tomorrow morning, go to this address. <laughs> so I was there for the next two months and learning how to book wine. And, and, now, and then, of course, um, when the Outback magazine came out, yeah. Dad said, uh, well, you could bind those uh, yeah. yearly yeah. things for people. So uh, he said, we'll put an advertisement in there and away you go. And, and they look fantastic and they keep them all together. It does. Three it's, as well. it's nice. It's nice so to have more than one thing. Yeah. I've been doing that, yeah. For a few years. Yeah, 23 years. <laughs> 20, 20, 20 years. years. Yeah. Oh, very, very good. <laughs> John, thank you so much for your time today. It's been an absolute privilege. It has um, been. Great to catch up again, as, as well. always. Yeah. Great uh, to see you again, to Terry, too. All right. Uh, until next time, that's Huru from the Hut.